Lisa with Luna Moth Creations and I am back with my sacred space crate for January 2023. So excited. I actually have like 10,000 boxes. So I'm really sorry I haven't posted anything this week. I worked like seven nights in a row and um, I had the last two nights off, but I did stuff with the fam um, the other night. And the, I, I've just been a big ball of crap, to be quite honest. Um, I was so exhausted. I basically slept and watched movies. Because <laughs> I was just too tired. So last night I watched, have you guys seen Serendipity? It's from like the 90s, I think. Oh no, it was actually 2001. But it, my God, it seemed, you know, decently primitive based off the cell phone that the guy was holding. But anyways, it's a really great movie. And um, it's about, well, it's serendipity. So synchronicities and fate and all that kind of stuff. So I feel like that's kind of in our realm, you know? So anyways, serendipity, it stars um, Kate Beckinsale, who is like my girl crush, and John Cusack, who is amazing. So anyways, I digress. Also, um, for the person that won my, um, I digress a million times, for the person that won my, uh, my giveaway last week, Jane. Okay, I thought it was Jane, but I wanted to check my thing. Jane, I have not received your email. Um, email me, my email's linked below. It's Luna Moth Creations and Tarot. All spelled out. I know that's a long email at gmail.com. Um, so I'm waiting on your email. Um, sorry, I, I was gonna try to contact you again and, and just life has just been crazy this week. But anyways, and I have to work tonight and tomorrow, off two nights, work three nights, and then I'm off for six if I don't pick anything up. I need to sleep. Okay, um, I'm doing another giveaway <laughs> before we get into the effing box. I'm doing another giveaway. We'll just start it right now. Um, again, it's another uh, large priority box. Um, that I've already packed. I don't know the exact contents of each box at this point. Um, so we're going to start the giveaway now and we'll run it until next Friday, whatever date that is. Let's see here. Oh, next Friday is the 20th. So we're going to say 11.59 p.m. Central Standard Time on January 20th is the end of the um, uh of this giveaway. So what I want you to do to enter, I'm making this so easy, you guys. Um, in the comments below, uh, well, first off, subscribe to me. Yes. Um, second, uh, like my video, this one, like wherever the like is, and comment below what your favorite subscription box is. It could be one that I open. It could be one that I've never opened. It can be one that's not even witchy. Um, it could be one that you've never gotten, but you've seen videos and you're like, ooh, that looks really awesome. So leave me a comment below. One box, one witchy box, or one, one subscription box. Doesn't have to be witchy. Um, let me know. And um, yeah, that'll be your entry. There you go. Okay. All right, let's get into the box before, like, you know, anything else happens. And I'm going to try to get through some several videos today, but I think I'm only going to post like no more than two a day because listen, mama's got to work with that algorithm on the YouTubes because, um, we got to get some shiz going. You know what I'm All right. God, I'm starving too. I just worked out guys. Be proud of me. Um, so I started my workout program Monday. Now listen, I got a little off because of just being totally exhausted and working 12 hour shifts and really I'm sitting there for like 13 hours. Um, it's real hard to get everything in to one day that you need to do because you got to sleep somewhere, which, you know, is usually the, anyways, whatever. Um, but I worked out four out of the six days this week, so I'm, I'm proud of myself. All right, so our um, theme for this month is Sacred Sight. It says, as you read through this letter, it is imperative to know that you were born with the gift of sight. Not only were you born with physical sight, but we were born with spiritual sight. Um, if you haven't mastered taping, no, that ain't right. Tapping, tapping. There's an extra P there, or there should be. There's not, but there should be. Mastered tapping into this God-given gift. It's only because you haven't practiced using it enough. 
Athletes don't win gold medals and become recognized as the best in the world without hours of practice and training. The same rule applies to your spiritual gifts. We were all born with the four major intuitive gifts. Sight, which is clairvoyance. Uh, hearing, clairaudience. Knowing is clear cognizance. And feeling, clear sentience. Um, I believe that I have maybe just a tiny bit of each one, but but I've definitely had clear audience. Uh, no, 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 no. Yeah, yeah, clear audience. I've definitely heard things. I think I've said this before. I've actually been like sitting there by myself, nobody else is there, and I hear Lisa, like very, very prominent, right in my ear that you're like, holy crap. Um, and that's happened more than once, and I've heard other things, and there's no explanation for it. Um, and I think I, I have like the uh, clear cognizance, um, the clear knowing. Um, anyways, so there's that. Okay, this month we are going to dive into the gift of sight, being a seer and using divination in our daily lives. I, somebody's favoring stuff in my shop. You should go there too. It's Ludamoth Creations Co. on Etsy. It's entitled My Witchy Store with the link down below. Um, I need I need to get some more sales, y'all. My sales have been crap for, for December and January. Oh my God, crap. And I'm like, come on, I don't want to work any more overtime <laughs> at my muggle job. Um, I'll work all the overtime in the world at uh, my, my witchy job. I told somebody last night that I want to be a witch full time. <laughs> They laughed at me. Okay. Um, um, I wanted to share a daily practice that has kept me in tune to my psychic abilities. Each morning, after my morning therapy of an outdoor jog and shower, I sit down with a cup of tea and do a quick tarot reading for any information that my guides want to deliver to me. I then always pull an oracle card and sit it on my desk to reflect on. It usually always offers me advice for something that I'm going to turn my phone off guys because that's just going to be annoying. Focus, focus. Okay. Um, it usually offers me advice for something that will happen during that day. If you're learning to read tarot cards, then you can use this practice to pull one card each day to reflect upon. Thus learning the deeper meaning of that card. Learning the deeper meaning of each card will help you master the deck in no time. The items in this box, box are as follows. Okay, that actually leads me into some things that I want to start doing with you guys. Um, if I have not pulled my cards for the day, I kind of wanted to do that with you guys. So I've been pulling one card a day for the overall theme for the day, which goes into my... Um, uh, and by the way, I've, I've kind of done some things here. We're actually in my bedroom now because I'm just trying to figure out where to be with all these um, adult children that are living in my home. So anyways, um, so I'm pulling one card a day with my uh, 2023 Bitty Tarot because they've got it where you like pull one card a day and then do a little journaling. And then she has some other things like uh, the full and new moon. Um, Pulls, which I like as a spread for them and then I do um, three cards for and obviously I haven't done them for a couple days <laughs> I have not actually like I said the last couple days have been a big ball of crap so anyways so for the three card poll I will actually um, ask more of a question not just like what's the energy for today um, so that way I can have the three so Anyways, that's what I've been doing, and again, if you guys are unfamiliar, I sell um, tarot stickers, and obviously I've been using them. Uh, so you get the major and the minor arcana, and you get three of each card. So there's like your pentacle, your uh, ace of pentacles right there. Obviously, I've used one of the two of pentacles. So you'll get three stickers for each card of 78 cards. So, anyways, uh, that's in my shop in case you guys are interested. Um, but I do, I use them myself. Okay, so first off, we've got our January calendar. Oh, you know what? She did say that we're not getting a box in February. I wonder if she says it in here. She sent us an email. Please read back for an important message. Yeah. Um, there'll be no, she's taking like a vacation, so there'll be no box for February, just so everybody's aware. Um, but the monthly calendar always has like, um, like 
your moons, like what's happening, and then of course M bulk is on there. Um, at the end, we've got February first with M bulk. Um, what is today? Today is Friday the third. Today's Friday the thirteenth. It is Friday the thirteenth. There's nothing happening today, but tomorrow it's the last quarter moon. Um, what are we? Sorry, I'm digressing so effing much. I've got an app on my phone. So tomorrow the 14th is last quarter moon in Libra. Just in case anybody cares. There you go. All right. So let's go over here. Moon in the Zodiac calendar. This is a monthly calendar that will be included in every month's box. And so for subscribers, she actually emailed us um, February's calendar just because there's not going to be a box and she didn't want us to go without the calendar. So that's really cool. Many of us form a lot of our practice around the cycles of the moon. We do this because the moon controls a lot of energy on earth and within our bodies. It is especially important in understanding what energies we are surrounded with so we can use this energy accordingly. The artwork in this month's calendar was designed by Ter Samantha Trick. You can find her at Schmoozy. Oh, I didn't even look at it. Oh, fun! So there are it's like somebody's altar. Oh my God, my chair is spinning. <laughs> I'm like, ah! <laughs> again, there's a slope in this basement. And um, I guess my chair wants to move. All right. There's a sticker on top. It says you are confined only by the walls you build yourself. Very nice. I don't know if I can get this off. So there was a sticker on um, the tissue paper and it's purple. All right, first off, we've got papers. I need a drink. So good. I have yet to stop drinking this. Um, okay, Psychic Powers Incense Sticks. These incense sticks were curated with over a dozen fragrant herbs that enhance your psychic powers, including herbs like ginger, patchouli, cinnamon, and frankincense. Light these sticks ooh, in your sacred space before or during divination or clarity meditations. We're going to light one right now, not that you guys can smell it or anything. Um, so got some matches. I love, I like matches instead of lighters. Um, I'll show you guys my little, I have a little incense guy. I don't know if I, I think I probably got this in a box, but it's got like a little, well, actually, I don't even know that this came with this. I think this came with a different incense, but you put the stick in there. Oh, so while I'm lighting this, speaking of my, I'm trying to get really good about being back into my daily practices. Um, obviously again, the last two days I've just been a ball of shit, but, um, what I've been doing after I work out and shower it up, before I start work or whatever else, I've been coming to my altar, which is now in my bedroom. You guys are actually, now we're on my working altar. My son still has my like old YouTube altar. <laughs> uh, but uh, this is my working altar that we're on. And it's this old, awesome workbench that I found at a, um, a, uh, a uh, what's it called? Antique store. That's what I was trying to say. Anyway. Um, it's got like a little drawer here. So I will come in here and I will, uh, light incense and probably a candle too. I've been saging or smoke bundle, not necessarily sage. And, um, mm -hmm. all right. And my dog's out there barking. And then I will sit down and do like a 10 minute meditation. Cause that's usually all I have. And then I will pull a one tarot card for my Betty Tarot, three for my um, my ritual planner, and then I'll pull an oracle card. So today we will pull, um, I'll pull some of those cards with you guys. So, okay. All right, then we have um, Caffeine Free Tea, The Star. There it is. I sh you know what I should do is when I come in here and do that, I should brew me up some tea too because um, that'll be fun. Put that right there. Or maybe I'll hold it up while we talk about it. 
The Star Tea, from the top of your head to the tips of your toes, the Star Tea is a stimulating herbal tea that mingles herbs, roots, and seeds to invigorate and enhance your psychic abilities and clarity. While fennel soothes the throat and flax offers generous amounts of essential fatty acids, the pale yellow cup bathes, can you hear my dog? He's barking at the cat. Uh, bathes in the pleasant scent of licorice and peppermint. Mm, I love me some minty tea. Can you hear him? Fucking annoying. Uh, with a slight maple taste. It's simply extraordinary, caffeine free, blah, blah, blah. Okay, cool. Maybe that will be my tea in the morning tomorrow. And when I say morning, that means like um, three or four in the afternoon. All right, next we've got Clarity Spell Candle. I don't know how to make my dog shut up. It, the cat's down there, he just needs to eventually chase her upstairs and then we'll all be good. Um, so there is the candle. It's got a little thingy on top. Let me find the... Oh, back side here. Clarity Spell Candle. Let's open it, actually. Oh, there's like a bunch of mmm uh, clear quartz chips. You guys see those? Very nice. All right, Clarity Spell Candle. This 100% soy wax candle was spellcrafted by me on the December full moon with the intention of bringing clarity of any situation to your mind. This candle will be perfect to use during divination or a clarity meditation. Filled with quartz crystals and scented with amber. Okay. Amber is great for divination as it enhances psychic abilities and is used to balance and harmonize past knowledge and experience to inform the future. Divine wisdom is associated with the clarity and luminosity of quartz crystals and shamans, priestesses, high priests, and magi have used these sacred stones for purposes of divination and in meditation since time immemor Im immemorial. 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 Is that a word? Huh? All right. There is an incantation on the lid that you may use if you are drawn to. And then it talks about um, not burning yourself in your house. All right. Magic candle help me see reveal secrets kept from me. Gazing into a flame so bright puts perspective through a new light. The truth lit up, nowhere to hide, answers found deep down inside. Integrity doth hold the key as I implement clarity. So mote it be. I fucking love it. So, um, I love writing spells. Like, like the incantations for them. Like, I, I have a gift of rhyme, I have to tell you. You can ask my coworker, Michelle, are you watching? She knows. She used one of my spells because, and I wrote it in like, probably like five minutes because I was, I was ready to write that shit and I wrote it and it was great. Um, if I do um, toot my own horn and I may, I need to start getting some shit together guys so I can sell like some spells. But you know, I, I think people should write their own spells and stuff, but you know, sometimes you just need somebody to be like, here's a spell, and you need to do it, because you just need to. Um, and new people, you know, they, they, um, they sometimes just need a little jump start. Um, so here is a little bit of Crinkle Paper Monster. We'll just set him there, which... Maybe back here? I don't know. I need to move some stuff. There. We'll set him there. He's not going to stay there very long. Um, because I've been taking it into the other room. Oh my god! Freaking Melissa. Yes, her name is Melissa. Thank you. I love it when she gives me lip balm. So it says vanilla hemp. I'm gonna put it on right now. Mm. So she makes all this stuff. Like, she, she makes really awesome, uh, like, salves and stuff. I appreciate her so much. One of these days, I will have more of that stuff in my shop. I need to stop working overtime at the muggle job so that I can make more stuff for my shop because I I love making things like I'm I think I'm kind of crafty you know? okay vanilla hemp lip balm I wanted to include a lip healer as the bonus healing item this month for these winter months makes lips soft and healthy got vitamin E in there hydrating shea and some butter I've never heard of uh, beeswax and some other things and honey and stuff and all that shiz. So, we're good. 
we're gonna we're gonna keep this right here on my altar to use whenever I'm sitting here. I literally have like lip balm over my bed. I got lip balm over um, on my work desk. I got lip balm there. I got lip balm in my purse. Um, it never seems to help. I don't know why. I don't think I'm dehydrated. <laughs> You guys probably see my lips and you're like, girl, put some balm on. Like, it looks like crap. Okay, Lisa, you gotta move, girl. All right, so now we've got a crystal. Is it agate? I swear, I spend most of my time like find it, trying to find things in here. Snow White Agate. White Agate stimulates. Woo! Okay. <laughs> Hopefully it like translates. Okay. White agate stimula stimulates the crown chakra, balancing out the mind. This is crucial, crucial for clarity. It is also known to improve concentration. Yes. An analytical frame of mind releases traumas, provides the courage to trust. My favorite benefit is to, is it attracts angelic helpers and spirit guides, making it a perfect companion for divination. Yes. All right, I'm gonna put that right on my selenite up there. And then um, I take pictures of these and record them in my app. Um, some people don't like this app. They say like, if you try to put it in there and um, and uh, to, to see what the crystal is, maybe you don't know, uh, it doesn't work. It's called Rock Identifier. It's that right there. And yes, that's me and my granddaughter. <laughs> She, so that's young. She doesn't do a pacifier anymore. She's almost four. Um, so we're going to do this while we're on here. So there's a button that says identify. Let me uh, sit this guy down. We're going to take a picture and we'll see if it, um, so it scans it. It said blue chalcedony. <laughs> well, okay. So it actually gives you a couple, um, gives you a couple um, options. Blue chalcedony. Agate geode or blue opal. I don't know why it thinks it's blue. All right, we'll do that again later, but I can add it to my collection. This is what I like about it. Uh, hold on. Let me delete it because it was trying to make it blue calcine and that's just not right. We'll do it later. But anyways, you, you add it in here and if it doesn't give you the right thing, you can put the right thing in there. And then I will put the day that I got it um, and where I got it. And if, like, say I buy it somewhere, you could put your price in there. For me, this app is more of a cataloging of my crystals. So I could be like, what is that? Let me look at my app, you know. It's got a picture, so it makes it really nice. So I'm going to sit that there. I'm going to drop it. I'm going to sit it back over there. Stay there. Okay. Got some things. All right. So now, what is it an aura stain? Oh, also, when I'm sitting here and I do, like, my little ritual thing in the morning... Um, I'll do an aura spray. Oh, this will be great. So psychic power, shake well before using, okay? Um, this will be good since I sit here and do my tarot cards. Um, this is a good one. I do have like a shield one, and then there's like an aura cleansing that I've got over there, um, but this will be good too. All right, let's spray it. This video is taking too long. I'm sorry, guys. Ooh, I feel like my third eye is opening as we spray. Ooh. Okay. Did you did you guys see the third eye? It's opening. It's like it's doing it. Okay. Psychic Powers Aura Spray. This aura spray was spellcrafted on the waxing moon with the intention of enhancing your psychic powers. I have to scratch my face. Made with a combination of pure essential oils that elevate psychic abilities with clarity and precision. This spray should be used to spray your personal aura before divination. Shake well before using. Hold your bottle. Blah, 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 blah. Do all that shit. So, okay. Awesome. Yay. <laughs> I'm What's next? What's next? We've got something. It's probably our herb. Yeah. I want to get a... Um, get... A um, uh, shelf for my herbs. Ginger root powder. So she puts them in these cute little jars. And also, I'm going to plug. Guys, I sell apothecary labels. I also, big time herb seller. Like, I am the shiz. Uh, <laughs> not really. Uh, but I do sell very nice herbs. I get them 
from a wonderful um, wholesale herb company uh, that harvests their own and it's amazeballs. So my herbs are extremely fresh. Most are organic. Uh, if I don't currently have organic, I'm working to get it or they just don't offer it organic. But anyways, um, I have a couple companies that I work with, but one of my main people. Anyways, uh, I do sell herbs in my witchy store, Little Mouth Creation Co. on Etsy. I'm plugging again, y'all. And if you don't want my herbs, again, I got apothecary labels, whatever. I do, I do some stuff. So, anyways, ginger root. Okay. Um, I have ginger root, but not in a powder form. I have it in just regular ginger root. Oh, I was going to say, ADD. If you guys ever shop with me for my herbs and there's an herb that I don't have that you want, shoot me a message on Etsy or an email. My email is linked below somewhere um, and I'll see what I can do. Like I, I love adding new herbs and if it's something that people are interested in, I would love to get it and add it in. So um, I'm getting ready to place an order probably tonight um, with some more stuff. So ginger root stimulates and charges the, ch the crown and root chakras keeping you balanced and grounded while also opening up your mind to outside messages. This is a wonderful powder to sprinkle over your candle flame or place in your waxing place in your waxing moon on your tarot stand. Oh, do we have something in here? <laughs> Ginger is one if not the most powerful herb for spell casting, so it's crucial to keep on hand. I like working with powders for spells because they sprinkle nicely on flames during my spell work. Ginger has a particularly particular affinity for manifesting abundance yeah, and warding away poverty. You can also use it to enhance the power of any other ingredient you're using during rituals or spell work. A candle can also be cast with ginger to increase passion in an all already existing relationship. Okay. Okay, so I'm assuming that she just foreshadowed something that we were getting. Maybe I was supposed to get this first. Um, yay! It is an altar. Um, let me get a card here. Tarot card holder thing. And then there's moons. So you can actually be like this and then put a tea light in there. See? I've got one with a pentacle. It's, they're so pretty that I've not I've not lit these yet because <laughs> I just think they're so pretty. But I have them sitting over here on this little thing. Um, but oh fun! Yay! Yay! Actually I needed one for my desk so I could um, look at my cards that I've pulled for the day. I've actually got a bunch of tarot card holder dealy floppets. Like here's my little one a day thing. This is um, uh, uh, Jamie Sawyer, if you guys don't know her, um, she does the Sawyer Path uh, tarot. I love it. Anyways, cool. Oh, I should read about it. Mm, wooden tarot and oracle card stand. The tarot card holder is made of high grade natural pine wood. Each product is precisely cut and engraved with smooth surface. There are five different moon faces which are carved on the holder in sequence. They are waxing crescent, first quarter, Full moon, new moon, third quarter, and I'm itchy. Waning crescent. When I use this stand, I place a tea light candle or a larger crystal in the center full slash new moon space. Herbs and smaller crystals that I have been drawn to that morning in the crescent moon spaces. You can also place herbs for your spell, a pendulum, or any, just any sentimental item in the moon phases. It's Use is versatile to fit your personal practice and intuition. The card slot is card slot on top is 0.4 inches deep and can hold up to three cards. This will be beautiful on your altar. I place mine on my desk so that I can reflect on it conveniently throughout the day. That's exactly what I'm going to do. Uh, but yeah, it would be cool to put like um, little uh, crystal chips in here, and then you could put your tea light. So I do have some chips. I don't know if you guys. You guys can kind of see my Egyptian stuff over here. It's sitting on my dresser. Um, I have this white guy. I don't think you guys can see him. No, you can you see him? Yeah, you can. The white guy, he's holding like a little crystal ball. There are some chips in there. Maybe I'll put them in here. Um, okay, put that over there. Awesome. All right, last but not least. <laughs> 
It's uh, like a red velvety bag. This video is taking forever. I'm sorry. I'm like super ADD and excited to be here. You know what? I do not have this deck. Actually, I think <laughs> I think I may have. Oops, the video. See, I've been talking too long. The video shut off because it said I was talking too long. Um, like, who are you, camera, to decide that I've been ta talking too long and my video needs to be turned off? Who are you? <laughs> anyway. Okay, I think I actually got this in a different box one time. And I, like, got rid of, like, tons of stuff before I moved here. So <laughs> it came back to me because I really do feel like I actually had this before. Um, and now that I'm, uh, I've got more space in this house and um, I'm getting back to like my regular practices, this will be great to, um, I'm glad I have, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna be getting more Oracle decks. I actually just bought one. Oh, it's supposed to be here today. I just bought a new deck, a new like Oracle astrology deck and it's supposed to be here today. For, maybe I've never had this one. Um, Spellcasting Oracle. Um, Wish you could cast a spell to change your life's past. This path, path, this beautiful oracle invites you to connect with your inner witch and work with nature to magically manifest your desires. Spellcasting has been used by witches since the birth of magic, and now that power lies in your hands. Each card of this deck connects you to the magical forces required for spell work to harness and manipulate the energies needed to bring about your desires. Discover how to work with moon phases, specific work weekdays, and candle magic in conjunction with unwavering focus and intent. Though invocation and incantate through, through, it's supposed to be said through incantations. Each spell offers empowerment and freedom through the spellbinding act of transcendence as you harness natural magic to positively enhance your life. I wanted to find the perfect oracle deck for you to pull a card from each day. When I saw the sample deck of this one, I instantly fell in love with it. Flavia and Barbara put together um, a beautiful deck that includes a spell for each card. The intuitively pulled card not only gives you personal help, but includes a beautiful spell to use for that particular issue. I tried a few of these spells myself and they were powerful. Are you ready to mark your magic? And then it says tarot bag. This soft velvet bag is for storing and protecting your tarot deck from outside energies. I hope you like the co color that I have intuitively chosen for you. Passion. I got red for passion. Okay, so I will do a little quick flip through because apparently my video is already too long. And then we'll pull a card. All right, I'm so hungry right now. First off, um, you know, it's an oracle size. So this is your typical like tarot size. So you can see. Um, and then this is the backs of the cards, which are super beautiful. Then we've got animals. To, hold on, let me make some space. Oh, too much shit. Okay, we're gonna keep that. Get rid of this. Move the box over there. Okay. Okay, so animals. Boom. Uh, answers. I'm gonna try to do this quick. Beauty. Blessings. Oh my god, my chair won't stop turning. I'm gonna. Boundaries, career, clarity, closure, commitment, compassion, confidence. Ooh, I like this one. Courage. Look at that lion. Dreams, empowerment. Shit, family. <laughs> Dropping some on the floor. Fertility. No, I don't need that one. I, don't. I actually um, had a doctor appointment yesterday and they were like, when was your last cycle? And I'm like, <laughs> she was like, maybe you're in menopause. I'm like, maybe? Financial health. Finding. Forgiveness. Freedom. Friendship. Oh, that one's pretty. Oh, look at the Mau Mau. Good luck. It's got a Mau Mau. Grieving. 
happiness. Sorry, I'm running through this very quickly. Healing. I was wanting to do more boxes today. Home. Don't know if it's going to happen. Inspiration. Justice. Oh, I love her. Life purpose. Lighten your load. Yes, I need to do that. <laughs> love. Manifestation. New beginnings. Passion, peace, prosperity, ooh, protection, love her. I love me a good mother goddess. Uh, what did that say? Psychic abilities, reconciliation, spirit guide, strength, talent, Transformation, travel, trust, truth, well-being, and willpower. Very nice, very nice. All right, we're going to pull a card and then I'm going to end this video because it's really long at this point, I'm pretty sure. So, All right, I already felt it. It's this one. <laughs> It's fertility. <laughs> but we're gonna go, we're gonna go with like more of like abundance. Like we're not talking about babies here. <laughs> Fuck. Okay. All right. Maybe this is for somebody else. <laughs> All right, it says magical guidance. Let me hold this up. This marks a very fertile time for you. If you've been working on a new idea or project, you can be sure that a creative power is stirring within and is ready to be birthed. You just need to nurture your brilliant ideas. Yeah, I know, right? I really do. This is true. By keeping your expectations positive. Patience is a big challenge if you want to see results. Yes, I have no patience. Remain heartened and encouraged for this is when all the magic is happening in the background. It may take a little time, but success awaits as you trust in divine timing. All good things come to those who wait, and remember that great things come from small beginnings. All right, and then there's a whole spell in here um, that I'm just not gonna read right now because it's just too much, but it's talking about um, uh, you know, pregnancy, um, Acknowledgement of your ideas, successful venture, new venture, time to celebrate, blah, 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 blah. All right, but anyways, there you go. <laughs> cool, awesome. I'm gonna set this over here because that is my card for today. Um, and that's, you know, about all that we're gonna do right now because this has been a very long video and I'm really sorry about that. What time is it? Oh, it's telling me to make YouTube videos. <laughs> I'm doing it already, phone. Jeez. Uh oh. All right, so guys, that is it. That is our um, Sacred Space Crate for January 2023. I would love if you guys would give me a thumbs up. And if you're not a current subscriber, I would love if you'd hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss any of my videos. And I appreciate all y'all who tune in every time and leave me comments. And again, to be entered into the drawing for this week's giveaway, please give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment below what your favorite subscription box is or if you don't have a favorite, what you would like to see me open. Um, so that is it, guys. Thank you so much. And again, Jane, who won last week, please email me again. I didn't receive your email. And that is it. Until next time, guys, have a great day. Bye.